Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to the mailbox and find a letter with Ellen White's return address on it? Well, of course, that's not going to happen to us because she died a long time ago. But let me tell you a story about a young man who did have that happen to him. He was a young minister in Australia in the 1890s. And one day he went to get his mail and there was an envelope with the return address, Ellen G. White. And he thought to himself, what in the world is she writing to me for? What have I done? Why do I deserve a letter from her? And he was a bit nervous about it, frankly, and he prayed, I think, a very good prayer. Lord, give me the courage to open this envelope and then give me the strength to do whatever it is that God has shown her I should be doing. So he took the envelope out into the bush and knelt down and prayed that prayer. Give me the courage to open this envelope and then give me the strength to do whatever God has shown her I should be doing. And he tore open the envelope, pulled out the letter, and in essence, here's what she told him. Preach shorter sermons. Well, he later admitted that he was preaching sermons about an hour to an hour and a half long. And he was thinking about preaching even longer because if he did, he might hit more people in the congregation. And here was this advice, preach shorter sermons. His name was Elder George B. Starr. What did Elder Starr do during most of his career? He was a chaplain in several of our different uh, sanitariums, both in Australia and the United States. And what practical advice God gave that young man. Learn how to say what you want to say. Say it succinctly. I mean, if there's one thing that sick people don't like, it's someone who comes and just sits and talks and talks and talks. And here was the advice that God gave this young man. Learn how to say what you need to say in a short time and don't just go on and on and on. Talk about practical counsel. It certainly was in the case of Elder George B. Starr.